IBM Information Management System is a joint hierarchical database and information management system with extensive transaction processing capabilities. History IBM designed the IMS with Rockwell and Caterpillar starting in 1966 for the Apollo program, where it was used to inventory the very large bill of materials for the Saturn V moon rocket and Apollo space vehicle. The first IMS ready message appeared on an IBM 2740 terminal in Downey. California, on August 14, 1968. In the interim period, IMS has undergone many developments as IBM System 360 technology evolved into the current ZOS and System Z9 and Z10 technologies. For example, IMS now supports the Java programming language, JDBC, XML, and, since late 2005, web services. Bernwartz was IMS's chief architect for many years. Watts joined IBM in 1956 and worked at IBM Silicon Valley Development Labs until his death on April 4, 2009. He had continuously worked on IMS since the 1960s. Database The IMS database component stores data using a hierarchical model, which is quite different from IBM's later released relational database, DB2. In IMS, the hierarchical model is implemented using blocks of data known as segments. Each segment can contain several pieces of data, which are called fields. For example, a customer database may have a root segment with fields such as phone, name, and age. Child segments may be added underneath another segment, for instance, one order segment under each customer segment representing each order a customer has placed with a company. Likewise. Each order segment may have many children segments for each item on the order. And like other databases, you do not need to define all of the data in a segment to IMS. A segment may be defined with a size of 40 bytes but only define one field that is 6 bytes long as a key field that you can use to find the segment when performing queries. IMS will retrieve and save all 40 bytes as directed by a program but may not understand what the other bytes represent. In practice, Often all data in a segment may map to a COBOL copybook. Besides DLI query usage, a field may be defined in IMS so that the data can be hidden from certain applications for security reasons. The database component of IMS can be purchased standalone, without the transaction manager component, and used by systems such as CICS. There are three basic forms of IMS hierarchical databases equals full function databases equals directly descended from the data language interface databases originally developed for Apollo full function databases can have primary and secondary indexes access to using DLI calls from an application program like SQL calls to DB2 or Oracle full function databases can be accessed by a variety of methods although hierarchical direct and hierarchical index direct dominate the other formats are simple hierarchical index sequential, hierarchical sequential, and hierarchical index sequential. Full function databases store data using VSAM, a native ZOS access method, or overflow sequential, an IMS specific access method that optimizes the I.O. channel program for IMS access patterns. In particular, OSAM performance benefits from sequential access of IMS databases equals fast path databases equals fast path databases are optimized for extremely high transaction rates data entry databases and main storage databases are the two types of fast path databases DEDBs use a direct access technique similar to full function HDAM DEDB secondary index function was provided in IMS v12 MSDBs do not support secondary indexing Virtual storage option DEDBs can replace MSDBs in modern IMS releases, so MSDBs are gradually disappearing. DEDB performance comes from use of high performance access method, asynchronous write after commit, and optimized code paths. Logging is minimized because no data is updated on disk until commit, so undo logging is not needed, nor is a backout function. Uncommitted changes can simply be discarded. Starting with IMS version 11, DEDBs can use ZOS 64-bit storage for database buffers. 
DEDB's architecture includes a unit at work concept which made an effective online reorganization utility simple to implement. This function is included in the base product. Equals high availability large databases equals IMSv7 introduced HALDBs, an extension of IMS full function databases to provide better availability, better handling of extremely large data volumes, and, with IMSv9, online reorganization to support continuous availability. HALDB can store in excess of 40 terabytes of data. Fastpath DEDBs can only be built atop VSAM DLI databases can be built atop either VSAM or OSAM, with some restrictions depending on database organization. Although the maximum size of AZOS VSAM data set increased to 128 terabytes a few years ago, IMS still limits a VSAM data set to 4 gigabytes. This limitation simply means that IMS customers will use multiple data sets for large amounts of data. VSAM and OSAM are usually referred to as the access methods, and the IMS logical view of the database is referred to as the database organization internally the data are linked using 4-byte pointers or addresses. In the database data sets the pointers are referred to as OBAs. Collectively the database-related IMS capabilities are often called IMSDB. IMSDB has grown and evolved over nearly four decades to support myriad business needs. IMS, with assistance from ZOS hardware, the coupling facility, supports NWAY inter-IMS sharing of databases. Many large configurations involve multiple IMS systems managing common databases, a technique providing for scalable growth and system redundancy in the event of hardware or software failures. Transaction Manager IMS is also a robust transaction manager a Euro one of the big three classic transaction managers along with CICS and BEA Tuxedo. A transaction manager interacts with an end user or another application, processes a business function, and maintains state throughout the process making sure that the system records the business function correctly to a data store. Thus IMSTM is quite like a web application, operating through a CGI program, to provide an interface to query or update a database. IMSTM typically uses either IMSDB or DB2 as its back-end database. When used alone with DB2 the IMSTM component can be purchased without the IMSDB component. IMSTM uses a messaging and queuing paradigm. An IMS control program receives a transaction entered from a terminal and then stores the transaction on a message queue. IMS then invokes its scheduler on the queued transaction to start the business application program in a message processing region. The message processing region retrieves the transaction from the IMS message queue and processes it, reading and updating IMS and or DB2 databases assuring proper recording of the transaction. Then, if required, IMS anchors a response message back onto the IMS message queue. Once the output message is complete and available the IMS control program sends it back to the originating terminal. IMSTM can handle this whole process thousands of times per second. A recently completed IBM benchmark demonstrated the ability to process 100,000 transactions per second on a single IMS system. Application Prior to IMS, businesses and governments had to write their own transaction processing environments. IMSTM provides a straightforward, easy to use, reliable, standard environment for high performance transaction execution. In fact, much of the world's banking industry relies on IMS, including the U.S. Federal Reserve. For example, chances are that withdrawing money from an automated teller machine will trigger an IMS transaction. Several Chinese banks have recently purchased IMS to support that country's burgeoning financial industry. Today IMS complements DB2, IBM's relational database system, introduced in 1982. In general, IMS performs faster than DB2 for the common tasks but may require more programming effort to design and maintain for non-primary duties. Relational databases have generally proven superior in cases where the requirements, especially reporting requirements, change frequently or require a variety of viewpoint angles outside the primary or original function. 
a relational data warehouse may be used to supplement an IMS database. For example, IMS may provide primary ATM transactions because it performs well for such a specific task. However, nightly copies of the IMS data may be copied to relational systems such that a variety of reports and processing tasks may be performed on the data. This allows each kind of database to focus best on its relative strength. See also, Datacom, IDMS, IBM DB2, Data Language Interface, Transaction Processing Facility, MUMPS. References External links, IMS Family, IBM Software, Information Management Software for ZOS Solutions Information Center, IBM Redbook, IMS Primer, Blackman, KR Technical Note, IMS Celebrates 30 Years as an IBM Product, IBM Systems Journal 37, 596 a Euro 603 DOI, 10.1147 slash SJ. 374.0596. IBM InfoSphere Guard EMS TAP for IMS on ZOS for detection of policy violations and compliance auditing, an introduction to IMS, 2nd edition.